creating and content like that. Today I'm actually going to show you guys what I made last year. Um, it's some sewing, some like, I don't know, knitting. There's just a kind of array of projects that I made. It's not a lot of knitting, but it's some. So before we get started, I just want to say thanks to everyone who's joining me today. Um, don't forget to hit the like button so the YouTube algorithm picks me up again. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and also you can follow me on Instagram. I'm knit in the zone over there. And then my yarn shop is Train Track Fiber Designs over there. Faraby is over there as well. She is Faraby Fable. And I think that's all of we, is that everything we have to say? Yeah, it is. <laughs> so let's get started. All right, so I made a lot of random stuff and a lot of this is for her, so she's gonna probably want to help me out. Um, so the first thing that I made, this is not knitting, but this is a graduation cap that she wore at her puppy level one graduation. And I actually bought the hat part. Um, I, bought, I know it's for you, isn't it? <laughs> I bought the hat part on Amazon, but then I made the top of it um, with scrapbook paper. So I just got the holographic lilac, I think is what the color is, glitter paper. And then I got these little flowers. They're actually paper flowers, and I got them in the scrapbook section at Michael's. Um, the letters are actually, they're, they're called thickers, <laughs> but um, they're really thick, like cardboard stickers. And so I just wrote out Gold Digger, and then these flowers are also paper from Michaels. And then I just glued it on, and that was her hat. And the front of it, so I glued it on the actual hat part. It's kind of hard to do this with her helping, but I glued it on the actual hat part on the bottom three sides. And then I did Velcro right here so we could flip our tassel, you know, because you have to flip your tassel even if you're a dog. Um, so that's the first one that we made, and this was for puppy level one graduation. I'll actually insert a picture of her wearing it because it's really, really cute. So that's the first thing. The next thing I made is actually another graduation hat. So this time, I kind of knew what I wanted. I knew what I didn't like about that one, and so I did things different. So I actually made this whole entire hat, like the whole entire hat itself and everything to go with it. Um, and so it's kind of, to me it looks good, but it's a little bit janky. Like if you saw how I constructed it, you would be like, mm, that's not how you make a hat. But so what I did was, um, I had, so since, <laughs> <laughs> I was getting a divorce anyway. It didn't matter about my wedding stuff. So these, this is actually a tablecloth from my wedding that I cut up. And um, yeah, cut it, sewed it, and glued it on to craft foam. So this is actually craft foam, this part is. And what I did was I actually just covered it with, it's kind of like a silky type fabric. It's not really silk, it's like a silky satiny fabric that was a tablecloth at one point. And I just cut that and made it be glued to that. And then, I don't know if you can actually see in here, but in here, there's actually, like, I glued that piece to this. So this is cardboard that I sewed. I don't know what all you can see. I sewed that tablecloth, stuffed piece of cardboard in there from the back of like a notebook. So it's um, like a legal pad, so it's kind of thicker you know, than like a regular notebook cover, but it's not super thick. Anyway, did that. And then I sewed, you can definitely see this, I guess. I sewed a button on, like underneath all of this, to hold the tassel on, because we have to have the tassel held on. Um, and then this is just elastic straps, and I actually took this adjuster piece off of the other hat. So that's like the main construction part of the hat. And it was not really that hard. Um, I thought that one, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean to Amazon, but that one sucked. It was like crushed, it was wrinkled, like it just gave me like, I don't know. I just felt like it was annoying. So I figured I would make my own. The only thing that I didn't like that I did on this is right here. Like it's hard to sew silky fabric 
especially if you've like not really sewn a lot in a long time, like it kind of slippy and it just didn't do that great. So, well, I didn't do that great. It's not the fabric's fault. It's definitely, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, so there's a little bit of a place right here where it's not straight, but whatever. It's still better than that one, in my opinion, as far as the hat itself. So now this part, because she is still um, gonna go to other school and other classes, I thought that I would make it so that I could actually just take all the decorations off of this one and save it and put it in her baby book rather than having to like remake a whole entire hat because that was kind of a pain just because I'm not really big into sewing. But anyway, so this right here, let me flip her tassel. This part was something that meant a lot to me because on the other one, I feel like there was just like a lot of black space and you couldn't tell that her hat was decorated like from the pictures. So I wanted to put flowers here. So these are actually the same type of flowers as those. They're um, for scrapbooking, so they're paper actually, and they have like little diamondates <laughs> or little crystals on there. But then, oop, punch my dog in the face. But then I actually made this on craft foam so it can, um, you know, Velcro on and off. So that way, all I have to do is redo that part on black craft foam and I can do a different look for next time. And this is the same, I'm not gonna unstick it, but it's also Velcroed on. So I Velcroed it one, two, three, four, five places, and then also up here, so we could flip her tassel. I am that dog mom, she is my only, she's my kid, she's my, yes, <laughs> you are my kid, right? You are. <laughs> She's my kid. She's my only family member. We go all out for things. So this was for her puppy level two graduation. And I got her the 2019 tassel because it was in 2019. And I ordered that on Amazon. I had to actually cut this part of the tassel a little bit because it's for a person. So it was a little bit long. So I did that. And then it says all good things are wild and free. And these are from Hobby Lobby. The letters and the stickers are from Michael's, and then I think these butterflies, they came in a three pack, but I think they were from Hobby Lobby as well, I think. Can't really remember. I think they were though. Can we not do that? Why don't you come here? So, yeah, her hat is totally extra. Um, she was the only one with a graduation hat. Usually, like when Bella went through school, don't grab it. When Bella went through school, they had a graduation hat like on site at the place, so they would kind of share it. Um, but then I figured they would whenever we did school now, especially since it's like 15 years later, but they didn't have one. So she was the only one with a hat and we weren't sharing. So we didn't offer her because <laughs> I wasn't letting somebody's dog ruin my dog's hat. So anyway, um, yeah. But I'm super happy with how they came out, to be honest. And I did look on, you know, Pinterest and stuff for ideas. I did not come up with these sayings or words on my own. It was stuff that I had seen, you know, across the internet whenever I was looking. Um, but I'm super happy with them. I think they're adorable. And I'll insert pictures of her in them because they're really cute. So. I'm really proud of those hats though. And then actually, we haven't got it set up here yet, but because she does things to get ribbons and awards, I actually had a room at the other house where we had all of her little awards and her ribbons and her little graduation hats and all of her stuff hanging on the wall. Um, we'll probably do that here too, because I think it's cute. And she's my kid and I'm proud of her, right? We're real proud of you. We're real proud of all that you do. Yes, so she's really smart. All right, so anyways, um, on to knitting, and then I did make some Halloween costumes as well that are sewn and stuff, but I'm gonna show you my knitting stuff. This is the first thing, and I don't know that I showed you guys these. I know I was working on them at the end of the last time I vlogged. I still haven't weaved the ends in, but um, these are mittens or fingerless mitts. And to be honest, I don't remember the pattern name. I'll see if I can find it, but they're color work and this is what they look like on the bottom. 
And I just haven't ever weaved in the ends, honestly. Um, by the, around the time that I finished them, I must have finished them, I don't know if I showed them to you or not, really, but I know I had to finish them before before Bella passed away because I didn't, you know, work on anything after that. So I don't know if I finished them and just didn't weave in the ends. I don't know. But anyway, so they've been living in my finished objects basket for, you know, a little over a year, I guess. So that, and then I think, okay. And then whenever I started feeling like knitting again. So I did work on my scrappy sock yarn like it's some, I didn't bring that to show you because it's not a finished object. And obviously that's something that's, Y'all, if you've seen it once, you've seen it a million times. It's grown quite a bit, but it's not like, ooh, I did this. So this is the first thing I actually made back whenever I started knitting in November. And these are mitts. I think it was a free pattern. I have no idea what the pattern's called. So this is what they look like. And I don't remember the pattern name. I just wanted some gray gloves that had pink. And to be honest, I had forgotten whenever I made these, I forgot that I made these. So I was like, oh, I could use some gray fingerless mitts. Well, and apparently I forgot I made those, but these are out of um, yarn from my shop. I wanna say it's Durant and Hoff, no, Hellboard. Durant and Hellboard. So this is what they look like. It's a free pattern. This is DK weight yarn. I wanted some DK weight fingerless mitts, so this was awesome, and it was pretty quick. The other thing is, because I hadn't knit in so long, I wanted to start with something kind of smaller and something that was gonna be, you know, useful and that I could get off the needles relatively quick. And also, I wanted to do color work. Like, I was just in a place where I wanted to do something to get my mind off of life again, and so knitting mittens was a wonderful thing. The other thing I made, I have no idea what pattern this is. It's free. It's gonna get frogged, to be honest, because it's DK weight and it is a cowl. And it's so thick. Let me see if I can put it on, which I have a cowl on anyway, and this is gonna be really bad. Okay, but it's so thick, like it just like doesn't do right. Like it just, honestly, it makes me annoyed. Um, it's too thick, it doesn't hang. Like this one that I have on, this is uh, Land of Sweets, I think and it's a pattern by Helen Stewart, it hangs beautifully because the gauge is nice and like it's supposed to be, I guess, and it's just lacy and it drapes beautifully and it's fingering weight and it works really nice. But this one is DK weight and I did it exactly like it said as far as the gauge and stuff, um, but because it's color work, it's just like, so freaking thick so it's just too thick and it's just not I've worn it like twice and then every time I wear it like I'm like eh, eh, about halfway through or I just don't like it so I'm gonna frog it I just wanted to show it to you guys it's a pretty pattern I think it would be more usable if it was more drapey so I just don't like that that's what I don't like about it is there's like no drape it's like it's like having jeans around your neck <laughs> or something and I think that is oh no no oh I made this too this is my favorite thing I made this is my absolute favorite thing I've made in a very, very long time, which I haven't made a lot. So this is my favorite thing of 2019. We'll call it that. So I made a hat and I made it with poodles on it. And the yarn that I use for the poodles is the color of my little puppy therapy. So I love this so much. This is definitely my favorite thing I made. Um, and I adapted the pattern from so she was trying to get a toy to play and she picked like the loudest thing we have. She loves a crinkle toy and we have a few of them and I don't mind her being loud like that normally, but if I'm filming, obviously that would be really, really annoying. This is a hat pattern that I kind of, I adapted it. I mean, I don't know, I wouldn't call it design. I did sort of design the poodle. I got, um, I got a few different poodle, I went online, I went on Ravelry, and I found poodle um, charts, basically, for different things. I found a few on Pinterest, I think, and like Google Image Search, different places like that where I could like find one I liked. I only looked at free ones because I really knew I needed to kind of adapt it for what I was doing here. <laughs> so, 
So I kind of adapted that part. I changed a few things because the one that I found, it was actually for a beaded thing, I think, and I didn't put beads. So it's like, I just kind of had to fix it the way that I did. So anyway, the pattern is from Amy Miller and it's called Beware of Moose. And that is not exactly the pattern I'm showing you. Um, I admit that before, I think it was 2017, possibly 2018, somewhere in there. It was either the beginning of 2018 or the end of 2017. But it has moose and trees and it's different than this a little bit, but it's kind of the same. So what I did was I used that to kind of get the, the shape and like I guess the gauge and the stitch count and stuff like that and kind of the placement of stuff. And then what I did was I actually altered it because this poodle chart was two stitches wider for each poodle than her moose hat pattern. So I kind of had to change some stuff. There's an extra tree or two in here. It's all kinds of things mathematically that I had to do differently, basically. So it's a little bit adapted from that. It's a little bit, like I said, a chart that I kind of put together from a few other charts, but I love it. It's my favorite hat. It is a little bit oversized. So um, it has a lot of slouch to it. I don't have a mirror, so I can't see right now, but it has a lot of slouch to it, which I really like. And it's not like so tight on my head to where I can't like have my hair be hair whenever I take it off. So that's all I've got for knitting. I'm gonna show you guys the Halloween things that I made. So for Halloween, we had a couple of Halloween parties to go to for her. And so I made her two different Halloween outfits because why not? What else do I have happening in my life other than to make my puppy Halloween outfits? Come here, leave that basket alone and come up here and get your monkey. So the first thing, she was a cowgirl, one for the first party on her own. And then we were pirates together for a second party. So for the first party, um, I actually got this hat at Walmart. It was $3 in the pet section at Halloween time. They had them in red, brown, and pink. They probably have more colors, but I literally went like the, eh, no, I didn't go too close to, to the day, actually, now that I say that. Anyway, whatever. So this is her hat. And then I actually made a stick horse for her, and this matches her cowgirl outfit. I put a because I stored it, it's been in the storage box, but I put saran wrap on it so that we would, I know this is your stick pony, hold on. Okay, so I made her a stick horse because she's a cowgirl. She has a cowgirl outfit that goes with us, so I'll show you guys, yes. And then she had to hold her stick horse, don't break him. She had to hold her stick horse and run in like, in the, um, <laughs> in the costume contest, she had to hold her stick pony and like walk and like show, you know, show that she had a stick horse and she was a cowgirl with a stick horse. So it was really cute. I'll um, insert a picture or either a video of it, but it was really cute. So this is her stick horse that mommy made her and we don't get to play with it anymore because it's special only for Halloween times. But she's gonna hold it right now while I talk about this. And then I made her a little bandana that was reversible to go with her cowgirl outfit. You wanna put this part on? Oh, and her guy, her stick horse. Hold on, can we talk about the stick horse for a minute? So she picked her stick horse stick out of the yard. Um, and then I glued it in there for her so that she could hold it. So this is a stick that she picked out. Um, the pattern, okay, the stick horse head itself. All of this polka dot stuff is stuff from Bella's first Halloween costume that I made her and she was a clown. So this is from that. Um, it's not, it was just leftover remnants. I didn't cut her first Halloween outfit apart or anything, but to me, this fabric had special memory, so that's why we used that one. And then the yarn was uh, loop and thread, I think, from Michaels, and I just got a bunch of different colors. So, and I already had them, actually. Okay, let me see. I've gotta have that part, because you're gonna ruin it. You can't hold it. If you hold it, you can't bite it, though. Okay, she's really thinking about this. So, okay, hold it, hold it like, yeah, he's good, isn't he? Okay, and then, hold on, let me show the bandana. And the bandana on the pony matches Farabee's bandana for her outfit. Then this is her cowgirl jacket part. Now, keep in mind, I am not great at sewing by any means. <laughs> 
but uh, this is what I made and it looks really cute on it does not look great like if I'm just holding it like this it really looks you can tell whenever you're holding it like this that it's very much like a box <laughs> but whenever it's on her it doesn't look like that did you get stick horse parts in your mouth so the sleeves and neck and all that stuff are just you know flowery fabric this is like suede fabric that I got or not suede I don't know what this is called it's basically kind of suede-ish material but it's like micro suede maybe we'll call it that and then I just cut these and sewed them on um I feel like I have another section of them do I not I only have one layer okay no I have two layers okay so there's two layers of fringe there's a layer underneath and then a layer on top and it made a lot of fringes and it looks really cute honestly like on her it was really really cute for Halloween and I'll put a picture in so you can see but I sewed that um it wasn't like my best sewing job of my life obviously it did what I needed to do I thought it was cute and it was fun to make so and it was pretty inexpensive so the next thing that we did I'm like way more proud of this next situation that we have here because I had to make a hat. <laughs> so we were pirates and I'll insert a picture of that. So I already had a pirate outfit that I had been for Halloween probably like 10 years ago or more. And so what I did was I tried to replicate it, kind of roundabout replicate it. Don't, don't take that part. So I tried to replicate it kind of and like make her one so that we could match so we could be pirates together because I didn't want to buy, I didn't want to buy myself a Halloween outfit because Halloween outfits are expensive, especially for like grown people. If you're going to something like they're easily, you could spend like a hundred dollars or more on a Halloween outfit. So anyway, I made her a baby pirate to go with my pirate. And so this is what hers looks like. This part was a little belt and it tied on the side. I'll see if I can make it kind of do what it's supposed to do. So this tied on the side and mine is sort of similar. I'll insert a picture so you can see us together. And then the sleeves are kind of puffy. And then this, I actually, I was really proud of this part because I had to do grommets and I haven't done grommets in, gosh, probably nine or 10 years. So I was really proud of my grommets. <laughs> so I did little grommets on it. And then the sleeves part, now, I put crinoline in there and then I put another layer of fabric so it wouldn't be itchy, but she, she has fur, so it probably wouldn't have been itchy anyway. But that way the sleeves actually stayed puffed. And like I said, I'll put a, a uh, picture of that. And then I made a little bandana to go with it and it was reversible so we could see which one looked better. I opted for this side, I think. But then the hat, the hat was the part I'm so proud of. So I had to make this little hat out of felt and I was so freaking proud of my hat making skills. I'm a hat maker apparently, and so this is what I made. Um, and these were actually tied into bows, and I just realized they're not now. But it's just felt, and it was so cute. And um, I glued a little feather in there. This is from a cat toy that I had. So it was a cat toy feather, and then I took a piece of that. Hold on. This right here, I cut out a piece of that and I mod podged it to this. Yes. So I made her have a little hat and it was so freaking cute. And that's her hat. And she likes a hat actually. She doesn't mind it at all, do you? Is it nice? It's very nice. And these little pieces right here were tied. So let's see, can we tie them back? But I wish I had made it a little bit bigger. I think it was a little bit small, personally. Like, now, looking back, like, not this part around, but, like, I felt like this, it could have just been a bigger hat, like, in general. Look, look at the camera. Does that have my hat on? So it could have been a bigger hat in general, but anyway, so that's where, what we have. That's what I made in 2019. Um, not a lot of knitting, but there is a lot of creativity things that happened. I also started scrapbooking again because of her so that I could do her baby book. Um, I didn't bring that in here to show you because I doubt anyone really cares. I'm not like a great scrapbooker, so it's not like I don't have any amazing techniques or anything where I'm just like, oh, do this and whatever. I mean, it's literally like I take a piece of paper that's cute that I feel like will go with the day and like 
I put cute stickers. I mean, it's not anything groundbreaking. So, so that's basically it for the day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know if you do any other crafts other than knitting and crochet. What do you do? What do you like to do? Let me know. I'm always interested to hear from you guys. Also, thank you to everyone who left comments um, on the last episode. I really appreciate you guys sticking around and being here. Bye, guys.